Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com using time-honored techniques to understand modern markets featuring daily technical analysis videos of the S&P 500 Index. I just want to remind you that uh, SP500Chart.com and this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in this video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy that draws lines on charts. Okay, we are looking at the S&P 500 on a 30-minute chart. Each candle is 30 minutes of trading uh, activity. And uh, I just want to show you a couple things. And I'm actually going to make this pretty short and sweet. Because what I see here is a broken rising channel okay defined by these two blue lines I am hoping that there will be a pullback to this top line uh, not to this top line rather but to this bottom line of this rising channel and that would uh, give uh, a, a an excellent opportunity for a low risk short trade and uh, so I'm hoping that happens uh, I'm looking for support uh, potentially around 1192 from this horizontal line that was uh, resistance here but support on uh, uh, th three occasions back in uh, the middle of October so I'm looking for this line maybe to produce a bounce if we don't get that move up here uh, straight away uh, the other thing I did was just knowing the propensity for the markets to do things in parallel I've taken this uh, resistance line up here and I've, uh, I have recreated it as this light blue line down here. That might be worth keeping your eye on. Uh, I'm not saying that that is going to uh, stop anything. That's why it's a very light blue line. I don't, but it, it is worth uh, keeping an eye on just in case, uh, let's say, the markets uh, gap down tomorrow. It could happen. Uh, it happened today. Let's say we gap down again to 1192. Well, uh, if it looks like it gaps there and stops there, you know, you might want a short-term long position. Watch it with tight, fairly tight stops, though, I would say. Um, then, on the other hand, if, if this market heads on up and, and uh, we do get the back test of this line, then you might think that, well, that this could produce a bounce, okay? So there's all kinds of possibilities still in here. But one thing is for sure, this rising channel broke today. We said in yesterday's video, if you saw that, that uh, there was a cluster of support right around the tw in the 1240s. And, uh, you know, that got cut through like butter. As a matter of fact, gapped underneath it. And um, so w what happened was, uh, once that broke, and again, if you watch yesterday's video, uh, the, I made mention that if that broke, I thought that, uh, that the low 1220s would uh, would certainly come into play that the market should just keep on going and it did uh, we actually closed near the lows today at, at, uh, at 12 18 uh, I think 12 16 or 12 15 and change were the were the actual lows so guys um, that's what I see in this and I want to show you one more thing real quick because uh, we got we got two indexes whose head and shoulders uh, patterns uh, played out exactly as they should have and I think this is a cool thing to look at so let's look at the Dow Industrials and the Russell here's your Dow Jones Industrials and you can see just in that back here's our head and shoulders there's the breakdown there's all our bizarre uh, on again off again will grease will not grease uh, uh, turbulence and finally we get a rally and where does that rally stop it stops exactly on this neckline all right now let's look at the uh, Russell uh, 2000 chart okay here we're looking at the uh, Russell and you can see the left shoulder the head and the right shoulder in this chart here is the neckline and again we rally come up and by the way this line is not is not predictive of this bottom don't get excited uh, this line is drawn from this bottom back to another bottom. So don't don't think. How did he know? I didn't. Um, as a matter of fact, I've I've got the uh, 
I've got the, the, the no long position at this point to prove it. So, uh, but here's what, what I was thinking was going to happen all along is we get a back test of this neckline. It did. That's exactly where it turned back. Now, the, uh, the NASDAQ is a little different animal. We're looking at a uh, little bit different pattern without as much of a defined right shoulder as left shoulder. Uh, but we did have this little double top here, and that is where uh, this move stopped. The, the uh, NASDAQ is currently on its neckline at the close today. So I'm thinking well, you can kill this line. That, that line is not drawn in the right place. It should be there. Um, additionally, there was this rising uh, line right here that, that represented uh, what I thought would be a place where because of this in this meeting, that just looked like it wasn't going to get over that. Uh, does it mean that, that this will never be surpassed? Absolutely not. But I will tell you this, uh, if the NASDAQ shows more weakness tomorrow and gets back under this neckline again, the, uh, and especially if it takes out this blue line right here, then I think, uh, I think the NASDAQ is probably in for some uh, serious uh, more serious weakness than what it has been exhibiting, even though it's down almost 3% today. So look, I want to thank you for watching uh, the video. And I don't want to keep harping on it here, but, uh, but I have to, <laughs> to some degree. Um, if this kind of analysis is helpful to you, if this is helping you to understand some technical analysis, some, some chart patterns and some trend uh, patterns in the markets, uh, for just $19.95 a month, you can subscribe and get a, a video delivered uh, every day after the markets with what I will say 95% uh, percent of the time. There's going to be some time when I can't do it, maybe one day a month for one reason or another. But uh, look, consider that. I think that's a pretty decent investment. And... Uh, and because uh, we go into a lot of detail on long range, mid range, short range, two minute chart, monthly charts, you name it. It's all fair game. So look, if you're watching this video on November 1st, thank you for, uh, for being a subscriber. If you're watching this video on November 3rd and wished you were watching it on November 1st, think about it. Thanks.